Hey Tubes, is our next project. Me and Mike say, hey Mike. How you doing Tubers? Me and Mike are going to take these two engines there. Uh, I can only tell you what year this one is. This one here is a 1951 5S Briggs and Stratton cast iron engine. They do have the aluminum heads though. Or the aluminum. Is that a head? Mm -hmm. That's a head. And the sump. It's the aluminum too. Oh, is it? Right. I did not know that. That's going to be tough to weld. Yeah. But anyway, these are two identical engines, and me and Mike are uh, going to attempt to make a twin out of it. We're going to cut them in half and weld them back together and uh, do what we have to do to get them running. So uh, we'll, we'll, show you, we'll show you disassembling and assembling, but uh, this isn't going to be a how-to. You know, We're not going to show you how to turn it into a twin or anything like that. We're just going to show you the progress. You know. That's just out of respect for the, the previous mechanics that have done it, you know, and spent the time. And me and Mike, we're going to figure it out ourselves. And if, if any of you out there are, are a half good mechanic, you should be able to figure it out yourself anyway. So that's what we're going to do with them. All right, let's start uh, taking them apart. All right, Tubes. Mike is taking this engine apart here. So far, he's got the, the shroud off. The muffler off. Oh, it's got off, Mike. You got the you got the gas tank off, the air cleaner off. Now you just took the head off. You see, it's a little juicy in there. That's because I lubed this all up and everything. Gasket. Head looks good. The gasket looks good. This is engine B. This is engine A. We're gonna try to keep all parts together. Anybody see this? Look at look at the. I don't know if that's a clutch or. What do you think that is, Mike? It's a very strange kind of pulley. Like a variable. Uh a variable diameter pulley or something. Yeah, it's got like a, it's, it's, it slips on the outside, I don't know. We'll have a better look at it when he takes it off. Hmm. But anyway, these, both engines were seized, and we, we loosened them up. Look at Mike's, Mike's throwing uh, oil and stuff all over my lens here. Aye. But how do the valves look, Mike? Oh, the intake stuck. Huh, oh no, oh yeah. That's alright. Alright, we got one problem. It'll be all apart. That explains the compression. Other than the, probably the rings are collapsed too, but okay. Next, uh, I guess we'll take the mag the off. mag off and the ignition. Okay. Don't forget these uh, these nuts here. Tilt that back, Mike. Don't forget, you guys that mess with these old engines. Don't forget these these nuts are reverse thread. All right. All right, we got pretty much everything off. This is our can full of hardware and then uh, our box full of big parts. Now Mike's ready to take the connector rod off and, and take the piston out. Take a look at that. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but this one here is a little different than the other one that the uh, old dirt bike took apart. This has a has a point sticking up. I'll see if I can show you. There you go. That little point's a slinger. What that does is it, it just smacks the oil every time it rotates and, and throws oil in there. Instead of having an oil pump, they call it an oil slinger. Nice and simple. So far, everything we've taken apart looks good. Still have the valve in there. It's uh, probably just hung up with carbon. Was that the intake or X tape? The intake. <laughs> the intake. Mm -hmm. Huh. That's yeah, odd because usually it's the exhaust valve that's uh, stuck. Mm -hmm. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Pull this off. See what the bearing looks like. Have a look in there. Huh. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It does. It's very good. Of course, the wear side is yeah. connecting rod. Actually, the, the crank, hold it there. The crank, the crank looks pretty good. Run your finger on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the crank is perfect. Yeah. Slip the piston out. Okay, let's pop it out. Pop out the piston, Mike. I'm excited, Mike. You know, I think I just heard the, the rings pop, hmm. which means they weren't stuck. Yeah, look at them. The rings are popping. Hmm. So possibly the only the only thing that was wrong with this engine, the reason it had no compression was uh, a stuck valve. Hmm. The rings are moving. They're pretty carved up. But yeah, but yeah. still. And it, it's not scored up or anything. Good sign. Good Look sign, that. Mike. That's a good one right there. I almost hate to cut this to pieces, this engine, but it's an experiment. They made they made ten million of them. Yep.
Magic hammer, you need a magic hammer? Yeah. Here it comes. Here it comes. Mike's got the crank, he's got the crank in his hand. Mike's got his Jacktown shirt on, look. Yeah. That's his favorite show. Favorite show. I wonder if this has marks on the, the camshaft. The other one didn't. I'm sure I'm sure the marks will be on the crank. Yeah. But uh, I'm worried about the crank uh, the, the camshaft. Alright. Let's have the uh, let's have dinner and then we'll come back and take the cam out. Good plan. Alright. Alright, here's the first block. We got it completely disassembled. Cam out of it and everything like that. It's funny, the, the insides of this are, are perfect. The cam, the crank, everything. There's the rest of the parts here. Looks like the only reason it was taken out of service is that it had a, a sticky intake valve. And uh, we cleaned that up on the way out, so uh, that engine, if we wanted to, that engine would go right back together and uh, start up, but uh, I'm glad. I'm glad we had no problem with that. All right, now we're going to start this one, see what's, see what's uh, ailing this guy over here. All right, we'll get back with you. All right, we're taking uh, the other engine apart, engine A. Mike's got the gas tank off. Got the air filter and carburetor coming off with it. All the linkage. There we go. In the box it goes. Get the muffler off. He's got the muffler in his hand. Oh, all right. Let's see that. Bang that lock nut. Hmm. Is it moving? Yeah, it might be. Yeah, hit down on it. Might be chiseling it. Though. There we go. Hey. Oh, I heard it. I heard it break loose. Oh, we split it. Oh, you broke it. Oh, oh man, 65 We're never years old. Find another one of these. Jeez. Thing's been perfect for 65 years, and, and you get your hands on it. I'm also going to give you trouble, too. I thought this was better than two engines, too. Yeah. All right. I'll I'm get gonna, a pipe wrench. Yeah, let me get a pipe wrench for you. All righty. All right. Got the muffler off. Got a broken lock nut, but. Uh, I'll find one somewhere. Jeez. Uh, we got, we're going to have to modify the exhaust anyway. Yeah, yeah. Well, so we're not going to put that back on. Some kind of manifold or something. Yeah. Or stacks. Put stacks on it. Yeah. All right. Let's see what you got here, buddy. Huh. Looks pretty clean in there, too. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Somebody adapted a, uh, a newer one. Is that newer? A modern coil to it. Yeah. How about that? And no points. Really? Yeah. Huh. Looks like it. I that it, it, it's not hooked up and it never ran, but well. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. You look in there, you can see uh, that little yeah. titty sticking Actually, out. Actually, this looks like it is a points coil. So maybe no, no, because you see right here. Yeah, but this That's is where they would have put the module. No, it's right to here though. To convert it. To convert it from points. You put the module Hold here. Hold on, what's this? That's just part of the thing. No. Alright. Spin it. See if you spark. Spin it and hold the... Hold the wire. Oh well. We'll have to agree to disagree on that one. I don't think we're going to get spark. But... Oh, I look at that. corrected. Look <laughs> at that again. Look. We got a spark. So I do think there's no points in here. Oh, how about that? Interesting. Oh well. Well, this one actually had uh, a pretty it had uh, fresh oil in the air cleaner and fresh oil in the crank. This one so. had compression too. Yeah. So uh, okay. interesting. <laughs> you don't know what you're gonna stumble on. You you play with these old engines. That's one clean gas tank too. Yeah. Jeez, we could have put gas in this thing. Yeah. Why do you run? Oh well, kind of take it apart. All right. <laughs> 